Excuse me, buddy, can't park that here. <laughs> Wait, turn me down, my man. Well, oh, this, this is a nice little setup you got going in your motor, Dan. Yeah. Hope you don't mind me showing it on the tube there, ready for people to rob you blind like <laughs> they did with me. You, yes. you may have seen Dan before, Bryant Electrical. You've appeared in a couple of things, haven't you, Daniel? A couple. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were there at our Proteus party, gallantly keeping Nick's hair back while he was being sick because he had too much, <laughs> too much alcohol. Oh, I'm sorry that you got it all over your shoes, but uh, mm. never mind. And you appeared in our LX video as well. So there you go. Dan is no stranger. He's strange, but no stranger. Definitely and strange. Joining Linda and me today. Linda's done her hip in, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's old age, comes to us. I'm afraid so. She bought a load of stuff at the weekend for her top floor flat, cable and stuff, uh, heavy things, oh. and then managed to. Earth shore. If you oh, you got some. And then managed to, um, yeah, do a hip in. Where'd you buy that from? Uh, Ricky from Burn Electrical. Oh, gave it I, to me. I saw that he'd been posting. Very interested in the Doncaster Earth shore because I, I do hate earth sleeving and I do want to see a sleeve CPC. We'll have a look at that on site shortly. I went to Denman's yesterday and inquired about Earthshore and they said, oh no, Doncaster Cable's a CEF brand. And I thought, mm, I'm sure that's not right because I've bought Doncaster from an independent they before. Know, um, they, station. they used to be CEF. Did you know that? I didn't know because I went to CEF and said, do you do Doncaster Cable? And they said, no, they used to be one of our brands. There's some kind of uh, family falling out of the yeah. CEF clan and no, um, Doncaster went one way and with the, some of their other brands and no, CEF went the other. all is from Tool Station. Oh, okay. So, but if you search for their cable, it doesn't come up. You have to put in Doncaster cable, and then it comes up. And they've got the other shore on there. I haven't looked to see if they've got that. I'm going to be getting that, and if I like it, I'm going to be buying that. So either either you're stocking it or you're not suppliers. But you know, I think it's a bit of a game changer to use one of Hager's cliches. Yeah, I did a a little video, a reel, just showing like the difference. Say, so like you're using the quick wire connectors, uh -huh. like normal T and E, click click this in whereas with that you've got to cut it you can do the line in neutral but then I reckon I tried doing it with the tool you know like those um, um, but yeah it's a pain in the bum so I reckon what you do it'd be like click click and then you pull them off and then a pair of croppers and just whip the that off you know, canal done it if I wanted a boring story I'd have kept Nigel around <laughs> Right, let's load up and fuck off to the job. Right, I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> oh, it's time for a quick coffee before we get started. We're doing a, a board change today. We're putting in a Luden board. What do you think about that, Linda? Luden, I love Luden. We were at Luden last week. We were, it was great, wasn't it? A great visit to Luden last week. Thanks very much Thank to you. them for, for, for accommodating us. What did you think about it, Dan? Luden, yeah, mm. lovely. Oh no, you weren't there, were you? Oh, Saz. Fantastic, mate. You really missed that. Anyway, but they're going to be my go-to going forward now that SBS are defunct. So, putting in a Luden board, or Linda will be. That's her job today. I'm dressing um, it. I like dressing. Oh. <laughs> he's not. He's not very tired. I like undressing normally because I'm <laughs> covered in filth at the end of the day. And uh, Dan, I'm afraid we've got some mechanical tasks for you. This place has failed on EICR. Uh, a lot of the failures are things like wooden back boxes, unearthed class one accessories. So Dan gets to do some some fun digging out today. Is that your, your bum or your mouth? Oh, I, mean, so I always need to check. Goodness, there's a few audio coming mouth. out of it. <laughs> Although so judging the filth that comes out of it. should be an exciting well be. day. I was making a joke about your bum. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry to ruin that. <laughs> Yeah. We'll drink up, motherfuckers. Let's get on with it. <laughs> she looks like she's ready for action. Ready for anything, aren't you, Linda? Except yeah. anything involving carrying heavy weights because your hip's fucked. <laughs> Meanwhile, old Dan the man here, old Danny boy. Well, let, let me turn on, turn on my light because I can. Don't call All him mod Danny. cons. Whatever you do. Yeah, 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 don't, don't call him Danny. Danny here has it's opened Dan. up switch number one. <laughs> Oh, look at this shonkiness. This is the problem we got here, is wooden back boxes, class one light switches, no earth. Where you, you wonder when people put these things in, what they think that terminal's for, or do they just buy them and go, oh, you know what, there's no, no earth wire to get off, oh, fuck it. 
fuck it, what can go wrong? Exactly. We've got these wunderbar 1980s style twee granny lights. Uh, my, my parents used to have them, ones like that in the 80s. They, they used to go for all things sort of brass and twee or whatever and go, oh yes, yes, we want this like a country cottage. Even yeah. though it's a 1970s <laughs> fucking semi-detached in the fumes of Coventry. My yeah, wife wants a new light above the table. I'll take one of them home. Yeah. She'll love them. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> right. help yourself. It's like you're the scrap man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, not earth. There's no earthing on the lighting wiring. So, Danny here. You're going to get your balls felt if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's going to be digging out these wooden monstrositoires putting in some metal back boxes and replacing the switches with plastic. Obviously there's going to be some decorative damage there, but they're redecorating anyway, so that's all right. Uh, I don't think all the switches have wooden boxes, Daniel, but I'll leave you to see what's what and who's Don't worry, who. Dave, I will sort it out. Oh, lewd and consumer units. Our new go-to, aren't they, Linda? Yep. This one comes pre-fitted with an SPD. I noticed cities don't have these on the shelf and cities are my main supplier, so I've had to go to Denman's. That's fine, that's fine. I can go to Denman's. I can, I can start buying consumer units from Denman's if, they, if they've got Luden on the shelf. We, we've gone to Luden because we, we went to Luden, didn't we, Linda, last oh, yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Essex, it was amazing, wasn't it? We had an amazing day in Luden. What did you think about Luden, Dan? Didn't, oh, I didn't get invited. So oh shit, oh, sorry Dan, I keep forgetting that you went there. <laughs> but we had a, an amazing time at Luden and um, they, they showed us around, showed us their, some of their high-tech testing gear. Uh, and they were, just, they were just really nice, weren't they? Yeah. Just, just really nice. Unlike other manufacturers who think this channel is cancer, it seems, <laughs> the way they talk to us or don't collaborate or whatever, Luden were very good. So Luden, get in the business. Uh, and this is what we're faced with here. We, I mean, as I said, we did an ICR here. Obviously, it, it failed on a few things. That's, that, that's Linda's light flashing. Is it bothering you? No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Might bother the, the viewers, but fuck them. Quite an interesting board, this. Uh, if you've got a screwdriver, you can Serious, take, do you want it off? Take, take that, just, just that cover there. Long glasses, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a long day, this, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, there's two boards here. This one's labelled Outdoor Power and has a very shonky... Oh, well, the whole thing's fucking shonky. They've gone for an Axiom, which is about as cheap as it gets. And, oh, yeah, no, that's just garbage, isn't it? But it was excluded from the EICR because someone else has put it in, someone else has signed it off, the homeowner said, you don't need to worry about that. We just want you to do the EICR on DB1, which is the wireless rewirable that Linda is currently struggling to get the, oh, the, the screw done. <laughs> uh, so that was, uh, DB2 was specifically excluded from our report, but we, you can see it's, it's not great, it's not great. I might have to move that armoured as well, because that's going right across where we need it to be. Go on, girl, that's the way. In an unusual wireless rewirable, because you've got this extra fuseway here. Don't see many of them. I'll tell you what's interesting. You're braced for interesting. Yeah. Not, they don't look Can't braced, wait. do they? Come on, Can't we're wait, all tender Come hooks. On. I think it was Jamie Blatant who was saying this, is that all of this old stuff's getting ripped out and chucked in the skip. It'd be nice if good examples or rare examples or different examples like this could sort of go somewhere where they could then be selected by colleges, training centres as a, here's the kind of thing you might see out there, or here's what used to be fitted and what's good about it, what's bad about it, etc. It'd be good if there was somewhere that was sort of collating this sort of stuff where you could, or where you could donate it to, or if you could give it to your local college. But I once pulled out one of these from a house near here, actually. In, in fine fettle, it was just beautiful, and I, I gave it to Warwickshire College so they could stick it at the front of the classroom. And you could always donate that to Dan's garage. <laughs> could do, maybe. But it's just just the point that you know that, 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 that there used to be billions of these things, it seems, and every, year on year more disappear. Now will come a point where you'll want to talk about, or someone might want to talk about previous examples of what was out there and there won't be many left to actually physically show so if you're pulling them out 
and they're in fine fettle, perhaps consider contacting your local college or training centre or whatever and saying, look, I'm not trying to offload rubbish onto you, but maybe you'd like one of these just to stick on the wall of your, your lab, your practical area, the front of the classroom, just so that you can show a, what, is, what people might still come, out, come across out there and, and B, how things used to be. How we used to live. So I think we're gonna, what we're going to have to do here is obviously we're going to cut the power to this and dismantle it and fit our lovely Luden in its place. We've got an isolator so we can safely isolate everything, which is nice. I believe he had the head replaced and was able to talk them into putting an isolator in for him. This is just pretty dreadful it's not really my responsibility but that arm is just right in the fucking way and it's so shonkily done I might just have to even though I've not done any test and inspect on that and this is the awkward bit isn't it if I start re-terminating this stuff because it's crap I'm kind of taking responsibility for it and I've not done any testing and inspecting on it but well I can't just leave it like that regardless of what's hanging off it I've got to leave it better than than I found it there because that's shite Enough talking, let's kill the power so yeah. that old Danny boy here can Get start pulling light switches apart. Yeah, let's go. 18, go! <laughs> <laughs> Just pulled the front off this Axion piece of shit. It's a bit, bit, I don't know, the wormanship here is just fucking garbage, isn't it? Not only have we got, got a half assed attempt at <laughs> fitting a grommet there. Dave, did you get the, the I'm, I'm, I'm getting it all now, God, I'm getting it all now. It's, it's it actually, whack that through, that's not been whole sawn at all. It does actually say on there, for best results, remove knockouts using correct size hole saw. Well, failure to follow manufacturer's instructions there because they've just beaten the shit out of it. That's loose as all fuck. There's no identifying sleeving on the black and the gray to indicate which is earth and which is neutral. I'm obviously using black as earth here. The wiring's crossing the front of the board, which is why the right side of the lid wasn't fitted on very well. The left side of the lid is, the attachment is skewed. The RCD looks like it's been chewed on by a dog. I don't know what's going on there. There's also some witness marks on the inside that make it look like, you know, it's been properly lashed. And fuck knows what that spring is doing down there. I wonder if that spring's anything to do with the RCD. Let's just, uh, Oh, it works. Hasn't sprung out of the RCD then. But again, someone has apparently signed that off. It's outside of our remit, but it's just fucking shite. I'm going to, as I say, I've not done any test and inspect on that, but I'm going to have to redress these just so that then better than we found them at least. And so that this fucking wang armoured is out of our way. Jesus, Dan, when did you put this in? <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake, somebody's forgotten to switch the bloody microphones on on this clip, and now I've got to overdub it. What we're looking at here is the Axion board on site, and oh, just look at the state of those holes. Have you ever seen a hole that bad? It's gash, isn't it? It's a gash hole, that's what that is. They've just absolutely, I don't know what they've used to wallop that through, and you can see the, the nicks into the tails there from the, the sharp edges. The armoured was loose because there's no nut securing it. I haven't taken the nut off here. There just wasn't one. It's just been rammed into the hole and that's what's holding it in. That's a, a level of workmanship that is truly inept. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. He, he looks pissed off, doesn't he? Well, he's the silly fat wanker who's got to put it all right, I suppose. Anyway, oh, take a look at that. That is a couple of gash holes. Flipping neck. Okay, well... Microphone's back on, please, and let's not cock that up again. Oh, isn't it nice when the sun comes out? Unfortunately, we're still in here. Linda has removed the board. What we've decided to do, this, this Axion board is in such a shit state. We're, we're just not going to bother. We're going to um, stick in a, an RCBO into our Luden board, terminate our armament onto that, and just, just get rid of that monstrosity. It's just been so badly put in, and now obviously we've not done any testing inspecting for the circuit coming off that, which I think is going to a DB in the garage there, so we're going to have to undertake that today now and take the responsibility for it, because now we're, now we're, well, uh, taking over that circuit, whereas before 
it was something that, there was nothing to do with this. So I was having trouble getting my words out. Daniel here is doing a sterling job, a sterling neat job of getting out the old wooden back boxes ready for the metal ones. It's very neat, Dan, very neat. If that had been me and my SDS, I would have just smashed the living shit out of it. Oh, it's good on the mechanics, is our Dan. Bryant Electrical, toaster. There you go, if you're in toaster, you could do a lot so, worse. I'm repping for my man inside podcast. You need to get on that, Dan. Funnily enough, I don't get invited onto many podcasts. I can't imagine why. I think people think I'm going to be profane, as if I would be. I've also bought from Denman's, because I just had to go out to get an RCBO for our circuit that we didn't know we were going to do anything with. I've got, got a couple of new tools. Linda, you like new tools. What do you think about these, Dan, as well? Bizline. Ever heard of Bizline? Denman's own brand. Yeah, because my crimp tool and my cone cutter, which I never even got to use, were robbed about in my toolbox got nicked. I had to go and buy new new tools because the, these are the kind of things that you forget you've got until you need. But yeah, it looks, uh, all right. well, it looks all right. Let's hope it is all right. As I say, it's a Denman's own brand. Well, they're not they're not paying me to say anything nice about them, so they might be shite. Uh, only time will tell. But you know, when in Denman's, one takes a punt. Got the Luden on the wall. Ideally, that would be at a lower height. Uh, we've got it pretty much budget up against the ceiling for the, the cable entry because all the cables coming in. But what can you do? It's a retrofit installation, it's not a new build, you've got to just work with what you're faced with. We just noticed this the wrong way round, really, because whichever dimwit put this nonsense arrangement in with the axiom board, they've put the, the live uh, terminal at the front. The convention is to put it at the back. It's not really a right or wrong way about it as far as I know. I don't think there's anything that says thou shalt do it this way, but the convention is to have the live at the back. Now although these switch points aren't earthed, and although we've got metal screws here, there is a regulation, I'll stick it on the screen right now, which says that that's okay mate. If you haven't got a significant point of contact, i.e. you can't grasp it and be unable to let go, and there is a regulation that says Put the little covers in. Yeah, there is a regulation that says you don't need to worry about uh, exposed metal work not being earthed. As Dan says, we can put the plastic caps over them. Do we not? Uh, I've seen one installation before where the guy was diligent enough to go out and buy plastic screws of all things. So there are ways and means around it, but it's not non-compliance to leave the screws exposed. How's Daniel getting on? On the fourth one. But yeah, I got that one there, nearly complete. Wow, there you go. That's what a back box of the past used to look like. Keep that around, Danny, unless you're keeping it yourself. So I keep calling you Danny now, I can't get out of the fucking house. I am going to punch you in the ball at some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says he enjoys that. Yeah, yeah I might probably like that. word is a bit strange. Uh, but that's an interesting thing. Uh, we, we like interesting things, don't we, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, and as I said, you know, some of these things of old, well, we, we've got to allow some of them to survive somewhere so that future generations can behold at what used to be. Yeah. Not us, we'll be dead before long and that'll be that. But I might take it with me when I go, I'm going into the college next week. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You see, that's, that's the kind of place it ought to be. Well done, Dan. So Dan's doing a sterling job. How many of these boxes have you replaced now? Four, well, I'm on my fourth one up here. There's that one, that one and that. Mm. That one was okay. Two bedrooms in this bedroom. Yeah, the bathroom's been redone, so I think that's a new point. And Linda in here is taking out an RCD spur that someone put in for the bathroom lights, because of course we're going to be RCD protected at source by the time we've got the RCBOs in, so I'd better get a, a crack on with that had I not. Whoa, oh, don't look too close at that. My boards are never uh, Instagrammable on the inside. I'll say. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know how people spend the time making them so fucking neat. We've been here all day, haven't we? What is it now? Ten past four. We need to get to the pub, girl. We do. We do, we do. So Linda's done a sterling job of replacing lights. Well, I've been messing about with the board and put the, the lamps in there. I'm about ready to, to fire back on. Hopefully things are a bit, a bit neater on the face of it. But uh, I'm going to power on now and hopefully nothing will go bang. <laughs> while, Linda, said you said. while Linda spends about half an hour packing up her tool bag as she always does. Bollocks, and so I'm getting it done now. 
If you weren't, the, the beer is beckoning. I keep burping, sorry. Really right, while Dick and Dom in the bungalow get on with the vacking and packing. Oh, there we go. A nice, nice little luden on the wall there. A satisfying clang when the lid shuts. It's gone right into my ear, that look. Some idiot forgot to put the fucking cover over the arm. It didn't matter. The my external gland used inside. Safety electrical connection sticker is there for the earth bar. The bonding's been upgraded. <coughs> Everything's in and on and a shitload safer than before. All the wooden boxes are gone, they're now metal. All the unearthed metal lights are gone, they're now plastic. And everything is now RCD protected. It's marvellous. RCD protected by a Luden board as well. Yeah, I like that. The first of many, I reckon, seeing as SPS are no longer around to fulfil my needs. Anyway, time to go to the pub, I'd say. Ah, fine end to the day, and just in time for the sun to disappear as well. It was sunny on the way back, and we, we get to the pub beer garden, and it buggers off. And look, she's in a, a quilted high vis. It's fucking cold out here. Whew. Well, that was a, uh, a ball to the wall day, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Or, or tits, in your case. <laughs> so it just didn't stop, did it? That's what I do hate. I keep mentioning it. I do hate seeing you change jobs because once you start, you can't stop. And I didn't know that about you, Dave. It just goes on forever and ever. I've never not mentioned that. Before, I've never mentioned no. that. No, you never mentioned it. Yeah, well, there you go. There you go. Dan's been very kind to provide some Earthshore. What do you think of this, Linda? It's from our first viewing of some Earthshore. But yeah, I'm not sure who's retailing. Um, SRM might be in the area. I don't know. But that's the first time I've seen it. What, what do you think, Linda? It's lovely, isn't it? But I don't think this is bright enough. You know, like the Earth's leaving. I like to use. Nonetheless, it is marked. It is green, that's yellow. Right. I'm trying to keep the wind off the mic. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, but that's not going to fall off when you're up a fucking ladder, is it? No, no, you're right. I just wanted it to be nicer. Think. I do think just much more slowly than you do. I think like <sighs> Nigel talks. <laughs> He's not saying much, is he? Not even. You don't know how to be on the phone. You don't know how to be on your phone when we're doing a recording. Yeah, Dan. What an asshole. Let's not work with him anymore. Yeah. We don't like him, do we, viewers? <laughs> no. I was just looking up to see if um, I could find it. What, the earth shore? Yeah, it is. A fine, a fine thing. It's got to give a shout out to Ricky Burn Electrical. He gave me that. Yeah, Ricky, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we like Ricky. Got a lot of time for Ricky, even though he is a Hager fanboy. We worked so hard today. We did, I know, I'm fucking knackered. I'm knackered and it's too. 20 to 6 of a pm, and normally I'm having my afternoon nap at this point. <laughs> I'm waking up going, fucking hours of my evening gone, and then breaking out the cider or something. So, uh, chin chin. Chin chin. Well everyone. done, kids. You've earned your 20 quid today. <laughs> my, uh, my 55p. <laughs> I mean, I, actually, I'm not sure you even earned that. <laughs> Some coffee shout outs from a, a location a little more exotic. And the hungry horse, perhaps. And not including us. Go. Well, I'll tell you what, the things I do for you people, eh? The things I do for you. I've come all the way out to Portugal to do a, a coffee shout out beside the, the Douro River here. Just to give you a bit of variety, it makes a change from me being in my usual wanking den of shame, but here we are. I've got a few names to read out, so I'm still catching up with all the generous contributions and messages following my tool theft, which was a good few weeks ago now, so I'm not, not going to get through them all here, but I, I shall progress with some of the names. You'll have to excuse the, the noise of the tram going by on the bridge behind and all that sort of stuff. A bit of European street culture going on here. So yeah, I bring culture to your dreary little lives. Starting with the first dreary life is uh, a whore, that is Damien. Thank you once again for your contribution, Damien. Have a brew on me, says Damien. Well, I certainly will. <coughs> it's time at 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm already on it. Got it covered, don't you worry, Damien. Uh, a virgin, Dan Murphy, uh, who uh, was creasing at the UDAC Corner video. I'm still doing another one there, I quite enjoyed that. There was a lot of artwork involved. Shout out to my mate and fellow viewer, Chris. Hello, Chris, and thank you, Dan, for your first contribution. Perhaps only contribution, who knows? 
Uh, we have a, a haul. <coughs> Excuse my stupid cough that I can't shake. Stevie C in the place to be. Thanks for the channel shout out. I shall give you another channel shout out, Stevie C. Stevie C's got an electronics channel. I wish I could do electronics. That has, should have been my proper calling in life had I persevered back in the day. Too late for me now. Stevie C uh, sent me some projects to construct, which I've got half an idea of what to do with. I'm still trying to, still trying to formulate the full idea on that one. It'll come, it'll come. A whore, David Patterson from across the Irish Sea. Excellent fault-finding video, David. I presume that was my uh, installation resistance video where my, my little Hayoki was last seen. Uh, that was quite an interesting job, that. So thank you, David, from across the Irish Sea. Whores that are test gear junkie. Always good to see Linda. About time we met. We can have a good old girly chat about you behind your back. I, I'm not that interesting that you can find any time to talk about I'm sure but yes it'd be interesting to to meet up with Linda. Linda's going to be around more so you, you, you're bound to bump into her at some stage. The whore that is our Richard our blaster nice to hear from you again old Dicky. finally nice to meet up he says yes uh, he and I met up at Nick's unit uh, I think it was the end of last year or was it this year you know I forget it all kind of merges into one I can't believe we're we're so late in the year already recording at the uh, in March here Ah, but yes, thank you, Dicky. Nice to have another contribution review. Speaking of regular contributors, we also have Andy Hills. Was that the ethos making a sneaky appearance in the AFDD party video? Yes, indeed. Uh, Andy sent me an ethos that he'd repaired. Ethos 8400. It was in the, the background of that video. It hasn't haven't done much with it. <coughs> it does look like an interesting test. I've actually passed it on now to Dan at Bryant Electrical. And he and I were putting it through its paces on a trip job just last week, uh, which is the first time I've really sort of sat down and, and used it in anger out on site. And I've got to say, we were quite impressed with it, quite impressed with its features and functions. Um, uh, so Dan is now, uh, it's it past calibration. I've got it through calibration. You'll be interested to hear Andy. So it's all good. And Dan is now giving it the, the, the proper going over in the proper setting. Uh, no doubt we'll hear more about that later. Uh, another haul, Marky D Electrical. Always fun to hear from you, Marky D. Our fault was, vid was great. <coughs> Look forward to the next one. Yes, it's a shame. Linda and I did a, quite an interesting fault finding job just a few days after that one. It was the last time I used my Hayoki. We didn't record it, which is a shame because it was, it, that was quite a nice one to do some work on. So sorry, I can't show you that. Never mind. We have an anonymous coward. He leaves no message but thank you for the contribution uh, i'm sorry that you didn't have anything to say and didn't want to say who you were but you know i understand not everybody wants to be associated with this dreadfulness the virgin vanderman <coughs> oh his cough i really must go to the doctor find out what aids i've got the virgin that is vanderman uh, nice to see some real world stuff rather than the how neat is my fucking db brigade yes I, i'm not a fan of the the whole super neat DB things. I was talking to Dan, but there's this sweet swap between a, a, a consumer unit or DB that looks like a ball of coloured spaghetti and one that's super neat and looks like a work of art. Uh, and you want to be somewhere in between that, I think. Some of these ones that look a bit too much like a work of art that you sometimes see on Instagram or whatever, you look at that sometimes and think, you know, it's probably a bit of a shit to fault find on because uh, if you're trying to figure out which end of cable, which goes with which ring, for example, you might have a bit of a job sort of pairing pairing stuff up. Moving on to Super Wanks, just a few of these to read out. John Nelson, 90WBN. Just trips off the tongue, that, doesn't it? Is a yellow Super Wanker. A yellow Super Wanker Virgin. C Stew, 8355, is also a yellow Super Wanker Virgin. Well, I've seen that name before. I think we might have communicated in the comments a few times, C Stew. Stephen AFC is a green super wanker virgin so thank you for your contribution stephen afc i wonder what the afc stands for joe clifford 4600 <coughs> is a generous orange super wanker virgin thank you very much joe clifford 4600 chin chin i should spell it unwisely and finally sean the spark is a yellow super wanker virgin thank you very much sean your your contribution is going onto some portuguese plonk right well i suppose i better go and uh, see the sights Catch you on the next one, and uh, enjoy the rainy UK, if that's indeed where you are, or Ireland. <laughs>